I think I'm getting fat. Am I fat? Really tell me if I'm getting fat. So the new year just started, and already I feel like a piece of shit. My hair, it just looks ridiculous because I didn't straighten it. Again! God, Zachary, you're just, you're just not up to date on things. Nightmare. Put a note on my door to tell me to straighten my hair, okay? Did you do that for me? Thanks. So I figured I'd start the new year, even though it's just the fourth, with things I hate. Because, fuck it, I don't know. My God. Let's begin, shall we? Okay, I'm going to tell you guys that um, when I go over to PA and have to drive from one side of the country to the other, because there are some things we just can't take on a plane. Uh, and it's just easier that way to have our things with us. But one thing I am not looking forward to is driving in that fucking snowstorm I've been hearing about. I don't know, maybe it'll clear up by the time we leave. Hopefully, uh, you know, we're, we're going to take our time. If things get too crazy on the road, we can barely see the road, we're going to go into a motel until things clear up. But the thing is, we only have so much money, so uh, we might have to sleep in the car. Good for me! Nightmare! Wait for car sleeping? Are you ready? Are you ready? Another thing I hate is when people complain about the most tedious little things. Oh my god! That, that video game is in 60 frames per second. I can't play it. It's 30 frames per second. But it's not sexy, so I can't play it. And then you try to say, hey... You know, video games are all about gameplay and whatnot. Gameplay, story, uh, not frames per second. Since when did frames per second ever matter in a video game? And they're all like, well, well, the eyes can see the difference between 30 frames per second and 60 frames per second. And I'm sitting there going, yes, but a goddamn idiot would really let that get in the way of their fun time. You know, if a game is really so fun, what the fuck does it matter if it's 60 or 30 frames per second? I would get it if it was 15 frames per second. Sometimes that can be excruciating, but 30 frames per second and 60 frames per second, while there is a big gap, uh, some people can barely tell with their own eyes, and even if they could, you think that's really going to get in the way of their fun time? And if you do, you're a dingus. I don't care what frames per second uh, my favorite video games are. I really don't. All I care about is having fun. You know, what if? Because, you know, that's what video games are all about. Not frames per second, you dinguses. Another thing I hear is sexist people, you know. People who think that men are above women. And they bring up statistics. Like, oh, it's statistically shown that men are physically stronger than most women. You know when they go in statistics to get a small group of people and um, judge the entire world on those statistics from that small group of people. Even though that small group of people isn't even a fraction of of what the entire world is like, so your statistics are mostly bullshit. Secondly, do you think your statistics go for the person that's either right in front of you or right beside you? Your per the person you're right beside or right in front of you, or even you, the person who's saying this kind of stuff, could go against those statistics. I am a feminist. I believe that women and men uh, are equal. Just because you have a dick doesn't mean you can make the rules. Just, and, no, this doesn't just go for men, it could go for women, too. There are sexist women. Now, n and there are some like, oh, men are just perverted pigs. It's just like, not all men. Some men, some women can be perverted, too. And there are some women that are sexist and think, oh, I'm the girl, so I have to be submissive. Su su I don't know, what's the word? I have to do everything for my man. I have to be in the kitchen and all sort of things because I'm a woman. No, you don't have to be. Just because you're a woman doesn't mean you have to be in a goddamn kitchen. Fuck! I hate the girls who think they literally have to be the prissy prissy pink wearing blonde girl that everyone pressures them to be. You can be whoever you want to be, okay? Okay. Case closed. Another thing I hate is end of the world predictions, because while there are a lot of them, they're all bullshit. All of them! And I plan to have a new top 10 or 20 on Gothic Static of past end of the world predictions that let people know that no end of the world prediction is true. I don't care about the whole blood moons theory or uh, some rapture or I don't know, some random asteroid. Give me physical evidence and no, physical evidence is not the weather that's currently going on. Yes, the weather can be fucked up. But did you ever think about the weather being fucked up way back when? We don't have any records of that. Exactly. 
At one point in time, we didn't record weather. At another point in time, we didn't have the technology to record all the weather phenomenons that were going on. How do you know at another point in time, some country went through a massive earthquake that could be comparable to the one that happened in Japan in 2011, I believe. Or 10. I can't remember. How do you know that didn't happen? And plus, weather does this stuff all the time. You see, like, a giant fucking snowstorm that's been going on recently? Yeah, that, yeah, that shit happens. While it's not normal, it happens. And just because it's going on, and just because it's your lifetime, doesn't mean the world's gonna fucking end. Find some actual evidence that the world is going to end soon, and bring it to me, and maybe I'll consider it. But still, the boy who cried wolf with all the hundreds of thousands of end-of-the-world predictions like Y2K, the 2012 mind apocalypse, 2011 rapture, 2003 Nibiru, and all the other crazy shit, none of them are real! No one can predict the end of the world, you bunch of dinguses! So stop trying! <coughs> yeah, I'm gonna say it right now. I'm not a big fan of Vine. I don't hate Vine. This is a segment called Things I Hate, so why am I talking about Vine? I just am not a big fan of Vine, mainly because it's kind of effortless, you know? Uh, I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for this, but some people put little to no effort in certain Vines, and they get popular because of it. Because it's just seven seconds of madness. People could just do any time they want. You want to know how some people got famous on Vine? Because you, all you need is seven seconds per Vine, because that's what's expected. And you, know, you can do hot, like dozens of videos per day. And the more videos you make, the more content you create, the more people will notice you. The difference between that and YouTube is that people actually put a lot more effort into their videos on YouTube. Uh, actually putting effects and timing and whatnot, more than just seven seconds. While I don't hate the idea of Vine, I, I just don't like it, okay? You, know, okay? you can come after me and say, Oh, you're just an idiot! Blah, 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 blah. And you know what? If you enjoy Vine, that's your opinion, you know? Uh, my opinion is that I don't like Vine, okay? I don't like Vine! And I'm not saying if you're famous because of Vine, you should be ashamed of yourself. I'm just saying that it's easy to get noticed on Vine because of how it's set up. Well, that was everything. I just went on a limb here. People are probably going to be angry at me going after Vine, but I just personally don't like it. Okay? I just don't like Vine. If you don't like me because of that, that's your opinion. But I got my own! So if you guys enjoyed the video, like, maybe favorite, and subscribe if you want to see some more. I make videos almost every day. And remember, we all see fish in the ceiling at least once our lives.